Some pretty stunning breaking news. In the last two hours, AMC Theaters announced a significant reversal of its new opening plan that would have allowed guests to choose whether to wear a face mask inside theaters. The largest chain in the country said after hearing from customers and scientists, it will now require all moviegoers to wear face masks at their theaters. Now, AMC is going to reopen about 450 locations on July 15th with the goal of having all of these screens open by the end of the month. COVID-19 has crushed box office revenue across the country, slashing January to June sales by 65 percent year over year. In his first interview since the reversal of the mask policy, we're joined by AMC Theater's CEO, Adam Aaron. Adam, welcome. I'm guessing you got some serious, well, you'll call it response, but I'm calling a blowback to the initial no mask required. What sparked the 180 degree turn between last night and this afternoon? Well, thank you, Liz. It's always great to be with you. You know, we've been working for uh, three months uh, on the plan to bring our theaters back. We shut them down in mid-March because of the COVID crisis. Uh, and we put together what we thought was a great plan. We uh, brought in uh, consultants who are current and former faculty members of Harvard University School of Public Health. We partnered with the Clorox company. We have an incredibly comprehensive uh, cleaning and safety protocol called AMC Safe and Clean. And one of the elements, of course, of it was a policy on masks. All of our employees were going to wear masks. Uh, and in those localities where masks are the norm, we were going to uh, have people wear masks, meaning our guests, uh, that is. Uh, and in that, those parts of the country where people did not see wearing masks, we were going to leave it up to the guests. We were going to strongly encourage it, uh, but we weren't going to require it. And yes, we announced that plan last night around six o'clock. Uh, and within minutes, we started getting uh, an immediate outcry from our very loyal customer base. Uh, it became very clear to us very quickly that uh, they wanted masks to be worn by all of our guests all across the country. Uh, and so that's what we announced today around noon. I think we moved very fast, uh, but it's really important that companies listen to their customers that's what AMC just did. And I think uh, our guests are happier for our uh, change in policy. Mm -hmm. uh, and if our guests are happier, then we're happier too. I, I got to tell you, you're telling me that the, the guys from Harvard Public School of Health, of public health, thought it was fine to make masks, you know, not mandated. That worries me because it has been proven it is science that masks prevent the spread, certainly in enclosed areas, which I guess would mean theaters. So I, that, that, that surprises me. I well, mean, this it, is not a neutral actually, issue. It's, actually, it's sort it's, of, you know. It's actually the opposite of that. Uh, our Harvard guys and ladies, too, uh, our, our Harvard people, shall we say, um, have been the biggest yeah. proponents <laughs> of masks uh, from the very beginning of our discussions with them. Uh, what we were grappling with well, is so that why... they're part Parts of the country, there are parts of the country where um, the U.S. populace is not so excited to cooperate. But uh, um, as we heard, as I said, as we heard from our guests in the last 14 hours, uh, it became very clear that the right thing to do was just require masks all across the country, uh, and that's what we decided to do. And we're going to live with it, and we're going to try to educate people in those parts of the nation who aren't thrilled with mask wearing that uh, they've got to do this because they're protecting their own health and they're protecting the health of their fellow moviegoers. But we're not just relying on masks. I want to be really clear. AMC Safe and Clean is a really comprehensive program. And there's, there's a lot of things here, social distancing, seat limit capacity limitations, intensified cleaning protocols, uh, contactless ticketing, mobile food and beverage ordering from your telephone. Um, and what I'm particularly excited about is we've gone a real high tech route. We've invested millions of dollars to order electrostatic sprayers, HEPA vacuums, uh, MERV 13 grade level uh, air ventilation filters. Uh, we really are committed to operating our theaters safely and cleanly for our guests. We do know that 
uh, convincing our guests that our theaters are safe is actually the only way we'll get them back into our theaters. Yeah. And of course, our business will of only course. thrive of course. if our guests come back. All right. And so uh, there are not going to be refills on large popcorn, etc. I won't even get into the fact that my favorite is to add butter on the butter machine, but then you're touching it. So I, I better be able to at least add butter. Adam, I do want to ask you about I the financials you of your company. Have, there were... Liz, Liz yeah. one sec, just on that last point. We're, we're going to have yeah. sanitizing wipes sure. and hand sanitizer all over our theaters, uh, even if you touch something... Uh, We'll, you'll you'll be able to make sure for yourself, and we'll make sure for you that what you're touching is has clean and been cleaned down. Okay. All right. So the butter the butter is good. All right. The butter machine. Because <laughs> I'm sitting there putting that thing down. All right, Adam. I do just want to talk about the financials of AMC. There was real concern that you guys were talking to bankruptcy the experts and things like that. You got a lot of debt. Will this company survive if you're only able to bring in 30 percent, you know, every other row of people and you've got a social distance here? Well, you are right that back when the COVID virus first hit mid-March, uh, we, we went to a zero revenue case literally overnight. You know, we're the largest movie theater chain in the world. We do about five and a half billion dollars of revenue annually. Uh, and in April, our revenue is nothing. Uh, that's a problem, right? Um, and um, <laughs> I so would we, think. Were through, we were burning through cash, uh, which caused some of that press speculation about uh, financial issues. But we were successful in raising $500 million, a half a billion dollars in the public debt markets. That gave us enough cash on hand, $718 million by the end of April, that, that even if our theaters were to stay shut all over the world, all the way through the end of November, we would have enough cash to last. And of course, our theaters are starting to open. We've already opened up theaters in five countries in Europe. Uh, we, had, we opened up in the UK, we think around the 4th of July. Uh, we just announced in the last 24 hours, as you rightly point out, we're opening up our theaters in the US starting July 15, in time for Disney's Mulan and uh, Warner Brothers, very exciting Christopher Nolan movie, Tenet. Um, so so yeah. yeah, we're very confident about our ability to make it through. And one of the reasons is we're a very different business than others that people think of. When, when you think of going to a sporting event in a major stadium, you think of every seat being filled. Those stadiums are sold out. Yeah. Movie theaters are more like churches built for Easter Sunday. Last year, we only sold 17% of our available seats all year long. So even if seat capacities are lowered uh, below the full level of seats in the auditorium, we still have more than enough seats uh, oh, to take care yeah, of the people who want to come. Adam, I will. Um, I'm going. I'm going to go to see Tenet as soon as it opens. I'll be there. I'll tweet it out. I'll talk about the experience. I, I, we want to see a company like you succeed. Please keep us posted. Thank you so much.